Okay, what's going on boys? No guys here, welcome back to another video. Now, I know many of you guys want the guaranteed way to get better in FIFA, but I'm gonna tell you some things that other people are not gonna tell you. Other content creators won't say it, um, but I will. And this would be the hard truth, but if you listen, I am, I will rest be assured you will improve. And the reason why I know this is because I've been coaching this game for many years, and I know what works, I know what doesn't for all levels. I'm not talking about just top tier level, I'm talking about if you're a division 10 player or your division one level, uh, is the exact same thing, surprisingly. Um, I got this email by this, um, well, just to reserve his privacy, I'm not really gonna read it out, but a very respectful uh, young gentleman, he goes over there, that he's explaining, he explained, sorry, something along the lines of that, he's been having difficulty improving over the years, um, given the fact they've been following multiple YouTubers, and he said over here in particular, he follows multiple YouTubers' tactics, and he changes them um, every single day, really well, he said regularly, uh, very regularly. So I presume that's every single day or around about that time. And he's like, but nothing is working for me. He then goes on to explain, for example, how he was doing well. And then it's a typical syndrome. You know, when you do well and then you end up, you know, when you got like on a five win streak and you end up losing 10 in a row or something, he explains that. Um, and he says he's a student. And he says that, of course, he's stressed out from exams and FIFA makes him more stressed. So I thought it's a very interesting and, uh, Interesting topic they brought up. Now, the reason I wanted to say this is, is because there's three things that I think people are making mistakes with. And I think um, I've highlighted these issues before, but people just don't listen. Um, if you go back to school and think about your best teachers in school, okay, maybe not the subject that you didn't like, but the best teachers were the one that were firm and said things how it is. You know, the idea is, is that my job is not for you to like me. There's other content creators out there that will just bum lick you and be nice to you. You don't like me, I don't care. My job is for you to get better at FIFA not for you to like me so you can like my video, subscribe to me. I don't care about that. But the, the reason why I'm saying this is because you have to listen because, and this is for everyone. Number one is basics, okay? The reason why I teach basics is because it's all you need. You know, I sit there with, for years, I play with 15K gold teams against top tier squads and I still won. You know why? It's just basics. I deliberately tone down my FIFA. I don't even use drag back anymore. I literally use one skill move now to show that anyone can do it. You don't have to be some amazing player. You don't even need skill moves. But the point I'm trying to show you is like, if I can do it and get a very good, uh, get a very good ranking by playing with it, not even playing seriously, I'm pretty sure you can. That's the first thing, okay? And I think the problem is that when you verse someone, this is gonna, this is gonna relate to 99% of you guys. If you clicked on this video, the problem is when you verse someone, let's say I always give the Formula One example, right? Now some people will skip over this video and then they'll start crying after. But if you're here, you'll understand what I'm talking about. You probably heard me say this before. It's the Formula One example. If I give my grandma the fastest Formula One car in the world, is she gonna win the race against uh, maybe some other grandmas? Yeah, maybe, sure. I mean, assuming they're not some crazy drivers or F1 drivers, but if I put her in the same place, Lewis Hamilton, will she win? Maybe she might fly past Hamilton in the first corner, assuming uh, she knows how to break in time. But Hamilton will take her on the map. And the, the reason for that is very, very simply, it's because when you're playing someone who you're better than, or lower tier players, you beat them in making mistakes. Do you know how many, I've been over hundreds of gameplay, by the way, of people, coach people as well. And the most common thing I ask them is, can you give me a gameplay when you're losing so I could see how you're playing? And the reason why I say that is because when you're losing, I'm not gonna tell you the real truth because I don't want you to, because if you wanna do coaching with me, I don't want you to understand why I'm doing it. So that way you can try to play a bit different. But one of the reasons that are very obvious is that I can understand how you're playing when you're losing. Normally you get frustrated, even I get frustrated. But the question is, can you realign yourself to play properly? The problem is, is that if you're taking, for example, shots outside the box, or you're trying to run past your opponent, you're never going to get through. And um, I'm just gonna show you this uh, footage. There's gonna get any footage in the background because I think this will help pick this. Now, let's go over here. Let's go to my media game. I'm just gonna pick any game here. I'm not even sure what game's even here. I'm just gonna literally pick any game. I have no idea what this is. Let's just forward it. So. I don't even know what gameplay this is, but I know um, just by my gameplay, I will know how I'm playing. Now, this is Team of the Year Talents. I don't even know what this is. I think this is a bit of a joke game mode. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I still play the same way. Now, the problem is that you see a lot of players get the ball here with Sun. They have this urge. I don't know why, but they try to run past the opponent. Now, the obvious thing would be to let go of the run button. As I mentioned, wait for this player to do the L1 trigger and then make the through wall in behind. That would be the acceptable thing to do. A lot of players is they try to run into this gap 
And you can see, unfortunately, the ball didn't get really get played as well. Um, bit of a bad game, but you see, the problem is that you see that I did that one, two, I bounce it back. I can play that through ball if I wanted to. Even over here, I should have probably waited a bit longer. It was just a very unlucky through ball. I honestly have no idea what that was. But you see, a lot of players, they try to run through with this gap. And you see, this is the thing. When you verse someone on Division 10, and for those of you who are really into analytics, you'll understand what I mean by statistics, right? The chances of a lower tier player not knowing what he's doing and running past you is very high and probable. And that is why you win, like, especially in foot champs last year in austerity games, is why you win the first 10 games, you go 10 and 1 easy. But then when you verse someone who knows what they're doing, they're not going to run out anymore. They're going to stand still and hold their ground. So whereas before you could run past them literally aimlessly, you can't do that anymore. And that's why I say it's the basics. If you're not taking a touch away here, your whole gameplay is going to fall. And I understand because before foot champs, everyone learned FIFA, in my opinion, the wrong way. You learn on spamming through balls. And I said, okay, that's all fine and dandy. But if you don't know how to play against someone who's, especially now with foot champs being competitive, it's very hard for you to compete. So that's the first thing. The second thing is people are relying on meta skills and all this. Now, um, maybe I'm, look, look, I need to put, be very careful about how I word this. I don't want to upset anyone else, okay? I don't show glitches for a reason, okay? I don't um, because you don't get better at the game. Think about this carefully. Why would I not put that video out? Just think about it. Sit there and think about it. You're sitting there. Think about someone like myself. If you if you if you if you're like a businessman like myself, why would I not put out there? A extra income, B more views, more publicity. And to be honest, everyone already hates me anyway since I started this um, with all the issues with the five at the back, four back, seven. Everyone hates me anyways. I don't care. Um, so why would I not do it? The reason why I don't do it is because you don't improve. You know, with with formations a bit different because formations like as I said four five one. You know, I mentioned this as well. The four five one, for example, is a formation that I personally don't like. But I'm sure there's someone out there that says, you know what, Neil, I like the 4 5 one. When I made that 4 5 one formation, it wasn't my particular choice. It wasn't something, it's not my cup of tea, honestly. Um, because I don't use wingers. I don't I don't cross the ball in. But for someone that crosses the ball, it would work for them very well. So when I make a formation, I have my my regular tactics set up every single Friday. This one will be one will be released tomorrow. Every Friday or Saturday, I release my weekly tactics. Those are updated to the meta at that time. Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing is, is that if you find a formation that you like instead, chop and change it. Now, I know, I know there's kids that are just, you know, they have got really low attention span. That is like, you know what? Forget this nil guy. He talks too much. Guy thinks he knows everything. I'm just gonna go here, copy tactics, and go into a game. It's not gonna help you. Yes, there's a reason why I say adjustment. Um, because look, yes, my watch time goes down, but you have to understand that if, for example, you find this formation too attacking or too defensive, you can make the changes yourself. And what I'm trying to say is formations, the, the reason why mine work over pro players is because pro players, you know how pro play their tactics? This is what they want now. Most pro players are like this. Like, I'm not even joking. They're genuinely like this. Like, no joke. That is what they're on. People think they've got some, they haven't got no secret tactics. It's because they know what to do manually themselves. Some, for example, pros go with direct passing. But if you, if you, if you watch text, you know how text was playing? This, uh, this qualifier is playing mostly balanced the entire game. Everything was in the mid-range. And you can go back into the stream and you can go check his tactics. Somebody had like, for example, um, direct passing, but it's brought up in his chance creation more balanced with a 4-4-2 because he knows what he's doing. So this is the thing, spamming skill moves and all these glitches, all this nonsense, it's not going to help you get better at the game. I'll be doing a disservice to you and at the end of the day, I'll win my reputation. I'm not, I'm not going to win my reputation by teaching you some disgusting glitch that's there to be abused let the pro players be for them they have to do anything to the win for them it's about money they have to do anything and you know what when it's pro versus pro even though when i played qualifiers i've never ever ever like abused any games and that's why i probably didn't get anywhere but you have to play it because without abusing mechanics and qualifiers unless you're like the, the top 10 percent you basically got no chance okay and even then they still use it so on that level it's different but for the average player you don't need to use it. the difference is that when they abuse the mechanics they know it's kind of like okay i'll give it an example i'm learning how to drive okay and um what what it is basically I, i'm trying to tell my instructor right so i'm like i want to learn like some next level drive i want to learn how to use a heel and toe method like to match the revs and, and this guy's like what are you doing like you can't even change gears without the the clutch even jigging a little bit so i'm like okay fine so the point i'm trying to say is before you can run you got to learn how to walk okay and it's very very important that you learn how to walk and the problem is because you guys don't know how to walk 
forget running, you guys are sprinting. So you're learning these mechanics, trying to pass the ball to the striker and just spamming random buttons hoping to get through. Are you going to get better at FIFA that way? No. So that's why a lot of people, they stay at this, like, you know, th think about this yourself, right? For the last three years, I want you to honestly sit there and say to yourself, pause the video, in fact, and think, what's the highest you got? What's the lowest you got? And where do you set on the average? I guarantee you average has been similar for three years. Some of you guys, like, for example, people that I've coached, and even like people that watch my videos, some people, they don't need coaching. A lot of people, for example, around about my age, when they were younger, they played games a lot like myself. Um, so they... They play some games come like people people play CSGO competitively, people play Fortnite. And when they go to FIFA, they watch my videos and they get the game just like that. One month they can become an elite player because they have the ability, they have that and all that. Okay, fine. But the problem is that when someone has played the game for a very long time and they've got bad habits, it's also harder to get out of those bad habits. So it just depends on the person. Some people don't even need my FIFA school series. Like there's people legit watch my videos, but like, you know what? No, that's all I needed. That's it, done. Good. But some people need like baby steps or to be walked through. For example, I'm also starting to become a pilot as well, right? Before I can even get off the ground, I have to read these six books on, on flying. Thankfully, I'm really interested in aviation, but I've got to learn all these things. But this is the thing. If I just sat in a plane and just experienced it and pretend I knew what I was doing, I would have no chance. And that's why you have to learn the basics. And the same with the tactics. Tactics can only get you so far. The reasons why my work, going back to the example, why mine work over an average pro player it's because these things, as I mentioned a million times, are done with the average player in mind. Even if you gave this an elite two player, a rank two player, this tactical setup, they will still get better because it's literally there's a defensive formation, an ultra attacking formation, and two variations of attacking formations. There's a formation for every aspect of the game. It's just natural. You, instead of ran, having random things in, you have a progressive system where you increase incrementally. If you don't like some things, you can sort it out. But the idea is that a lot of players, you know why I've long drawn a lot of my tactics? Because no one knows how to use L1 triggers properly. Sometimes they do L1 triggers here and there, but they don't do it anywhere near enough. So a lot of these things I've put there specifically to help you improve. And this one thing I wanted to mention, patch off the patch. Now, when it comes to tactics, patch off the patch. Tactics do not change patch off the patch unless it's stated otherwise. I'll explain to you the first bit first. It does change, but not in the way you think. The first bit is FIFA 20 I made. So let me, let me just show you this. Okay, so... For those of you that don't know, 352 has always, 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 always been a meta formation. And I think the first time when I think it was really meta was back in, well, it's always, I've always used it for a very long time. But hang on, let me just make sure I show the right screen here. Second, I haven't got it set up. Hope it's the right one. Bring it across. Well, for some reason it's not working but anyway um oh here it is it's working now okay um if i go type in nil guys right 352 the original 352 um this is the one from fifa 19 i believe 20. this is the real um where is it this one this is the real 352 do you know how this used to defend used to be so overpowered because when you're defending you should defend in a 5-4-1 so i devised this 3-5-2 because it was the most complete attacking formation but when you defend what happens is that you collapse into a 5-4-1 so you can see for example like that's that's when you're defending your 5-4-1 two strikers come back and when you're attacking it turns into a 4-1-2-1-2 you don't know how long these videos you take me to do by the way these, these videos just take me months and months preparation Anyway, what I'm trying to explain is that, as you can see, you defend it, like that's when you're attacking. Then, of course, uh, that's when you're attacking. Then when you win the ball back, go to the five. Now, back in the day, you could have a system where you could have the strikers come back to send the winger backs, left mids and right mids. You can't do that anymore. So that's what I'm trying to say is that the game has changed. So unless a patch says, for example, uh, the way the strikers come back and defense, and I will tell you that, then the tactics change. There's a reason why this video got uh, 800,000 views compared to other, pe other people's tactics videos. There's a reason for it. Um, but yeah, so the point I'm trying to say is a tactics may change. For example, remember like in a 4-4-2, um, the reason why it was so good, and I wish it was back to that, but when you put these guys on comeback and defense, they would genuinely, so let's say you're playing in a box system, your four will be there, your four, then your two strikers would be there. That's how 442 used to be back in the day. After FIFA 20, the patch came out. I think it was in October. 
the strikers always stay forward. So if you ever wonder why you put comeback and defense on your strikers, they always still stay forward in the 4 4 2. It's because they patched it. So those are obvious changes to formations. But what happens is, is as the game goes on, external patch like jockeying, for example, when, when AI jockeying came in and assisted jockeying got nerfed to manual, no one knew how to defend. Everyone somehow forgot how to defend. Do you know what they did? They didn't, oh, you know what, let's learn how to defend. They just did this. They just did this, drop back, come back in the fence, and they dashed on overload ball side on every single player. And they ran around with a striker the entire game. So what that meant is that in turn, because of the way people are playing, you need to create more. That's why you see more of my formations lead towards the two striker setup. Apart from the 4-2-3-1, it's basically like, it's basically like a 4-4-1-1 when you're attacking over. That's like a cam on stay forward and striker. But apart from that, every other formation, a two striker formation, because it was imperative to get past people parking the bus. So tactics itself don't change as like directly, but indirectly it's influenced. It's kind of everyone else changes the way they play, and then you have to then change it to adapt to the masses, if that makes sense. That is how tactics influence the gameplay. So that's what it is. It's a combination of three things. One, not learn the basics. Even my FIFA school series, the reason why I offer money back guarantee, because I know if, if someone if someone goes on to that FIFA school series and they don't want to get better, because um, Either they want to learn or they don't want to do it. I know realistically I can offer money back guarantee because no one is going to request the money back guarantee because I know realistically the content is guaranteed to make you improve. And on that note, you suppose you can sign up for people's schools to patreon.com. Even plug it this video. I should have plugged it patreon.com forward slash no guys. Links down below in the description. Um, but now, on a serious level, it's just about the basics. Over relying on tactics and meta skill moves, getting the ball to your strike. All you're doing is spamming driven passes to your striker, doing some next skill moves and hoping to get through like the bridge last year. You know, I'm talking about Olaf or Keta, B for 19. And then tactics, where I said, can only get you so far. So that is the combination. So if you just take a step back, okay, you ignore the frustration and you learn to play the game again from the basics, I promise you, I will guarantee you, if you do everything I tell you, I promise you will improve. I don't care if your connection is bad. I had a bad connection before. I still did it. I used to play on a TV with like 40 inch. And I had like 20 MS response time. I, I could still do it. There's no excuses. Now, um, for those you don't know, I also suffer from pain as well. And my reactions are probably slower than like a 70 year old, like seriously. So if I can do it, there's literally no excuse for anyone else. So that's the way that I look at it. But anyway, that's kind of um, the opinion. I know it's a long video. If you stayed, and let's say you're generally watching at this point, because it'll only be like 5% of you that'll be watching at this point. I know my watch time. People dip off after the interesting tactics, but it's a long video and it doesn't help. Um, that people are abusing the, the game. So, so when you see these new abusive skill moves or you see what pros are doing qualifiers, don't copy them. Get the basics out of the way first, learn how to drive, learn how to walk. Then you can apply the things that take your gameplay to the next level. But if you don't know the basics, you can spam the most overpowered. If there, was, if there was, for example, a shot where you always get a guaranteed goal if you shot from the angle, you would still probably lose most of your games. Why? It's because you'd be concentrating so much on that one shot, your opponent would defend against it or know what you're going to do. You're being predictable. Then you would just still score against you. You could have the best, you could have legit, you could sit there with me for an hour. I could watch your gameplay. We could tailor, tailor make a tactic for your gameplay specifically, give you the best squad in the game, 30 million coin squad, best tactics. We can even give your opponent like a, a handicap. Like we can reduce those players by 50 sprint speed, like in offline game modes. Like back in the old days, we can do all that and you'll still lose to a pro player. You know why? It's because he knows how to play the game. Let him use a bronze team, you'll still win because he knows how to play the game. And that's what I just wanted to emphasize on. Now, if you ever come back to the, you ever watch this video, like, you know what, Neil, I want to do what you're saying, but do it. Don't just do, watch this video and be like, yeah, Neil, I'm going to listen to what you're saying. I've had a bad weekend league. I'm going to do it. And the next week, you're going touching meta skill moves or what's the new glitch today. It's not going to help you. Think about this video and just keep it in the back of your mind. Learn the basics. And that means you have to go with things that you don't like. Things like how to pass, how to take a touch, how to listen. People don't even have to even take a touch away. It's shocking. Like most people, I will look at most people's gameplay. They don't have to take a touch away. And that's the most important thing. And remember, when you learn basic FIFA, it applies to any FIFA. Once you learn it, you know, I've never changed where I play FIFA apart from a few minor things here and there for the past 20 years. Not once. Because it's all about the basics, but... Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that answered your email, by the way. And uh, thank you very much for that email. It was a very nice email. It was quite, um, quite long, but it was very interesting to read. Uh, but 
hopefully this answers your questions uh, in terms of your opinion on tactics, skill moves, and the reason why you're stuck. And I said, if you versed if you verse ten or my you play my grandma ten times in a row, then you verse ten average players. You can maybe run out with your centre back against my grandma. Yeah, yeah, you'll win. If you verse someone who knows what they're doing, you're gonna lose. Simple as that. They're gonna pierce through where you make those mistakes. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Take these, and of course, I'll catch you next time. Peace out. And don't forget my Patreon series, patreon.com forward slash no guides. Link is down below in the description as usual. Peace.